Hey gang, Nicole here. As e-learning designers, we often face the following struggle. We want to use fun and colorful background images in our courses, but we don't want them to interfere with the legibility of our text. So I'm here to help you solve that problem by showing you seven easy techniques for overlaying text on images. So the first and most obvious technique you want to consider is using a font that is a contrasting color from the image. Obviously, using a dark font on top of a dark image, or vice versa, will make it more difficult for people to read the text. Notice how my font is invisible when it's black, but when I switch it to white, it really stands out and it looks bright. So remember that and use a font that contrasts well with the image. Another obvious technique that needs to be pointed out is to place your text over large empty spaces. So when you're choosing the imagery for your e-learning course, look for photos that have large chunks of solid color or empty space so that you have a great spot to drop in your text content. Now on to my third trick. So another great way to make your text pop is to adjust the transparency of your image to make it lighter and make it appear more faded. This allows the text on your slide to really stand out against the background and be easily read by your learners. If you don't want to go lighter, another option is to go darker. And one way that I like to do this is by adding a rectangle shape over top of my entire slide and moving it to the back. And then I adjust the color and transparency of my shape. So when you're using this technique, you can use a nice bright white font and it'll be really easy to read over your darker background image. Now let me move on to technique number five, which is to use a gradient overlay. It's the same idea as my previous tip, so I start by adding a rectangle shape, which I move to the back. This time I'm going to add a gradient effect to the shape. So under the shape settings, I can adjust the stops in my gradient. And what I want to do is make the bottom half transparent and the top half a darker color so that my text will stand out. So now you can see how using this technique makes a part of the image darker, which is where I place my text, but allows the rest of the image to remain visible. See the difference with the before and after? Tip number six is another trick that I like to use all the time, which is to place a shape behind the text. And something else that I like to do is adjust the transparency on the shape to allow a bit of the image to show through to help you get the essence of the image. And finally, my last technique for overlaying text on an image is to add a drop shadow or a stroke to your text. It's really a simple move that can help make your text stand out against a busy background. And so these are just a few of the tips that you can use next time you're designing your e-learning course to make sure that your text stands out against your background images. Thanks for watching.